Oh, they have reinforcements. This isn't fair. Okay, guys, I have an idea. I'm gonna throw a rock that way. Land is my land, a brand new survival game. We're checking out for the very first time that I am incredibly hype to hop into. In this game, we're gonna be playing the role of a Native American over here. While in the age where you got people showing up and being like, hey, this land is my land, and I'm like, no. This land is my land. And long story short, we end up getting into this ginormous turf war and we're gonna be playing the side of a Native American during this. So it's gonna be very cool to see how we can survive what the game ends up throwing at us because it is gonna be a game where, well, we're gonna be trying to tackle and claim this land back as ours and surviving all the bad things that the people will be throwing at us. But to begin the game, we are met with this. Your name is your lineage and will bring you great power or great demise. So we could go ahead and enter in a name. So let's go ahead and put in uh, Star Snipe. For example, depending on the name that you put in, it will actually affect some of your stats. And you guys can see Star Snipe is plus 10 weight. Okay, that's not too bad. But when we put in the word for potato in Polish, a little bit of Zemniak. Oh, baby, plus 190 health and plus 20 weight. Zemniak is the ultimate thing in the world. Confirmed. And we have now located our camp as well. And when you do start out, you have the opportunity to pick what type of a start you do want. A normal, hard, or insane start. This is our first time hopping into things. So... We'll keep things normal for the time being while me and my tribe of Polish potatoes, the Zemniak tribe, does what we can to claim back this land to become our land. But this is a game that I'm genuinely so freaking excited for, looking into gameplay, looking into this, just all the survival elements and ways that this open world plays out because I'm not sure if it's procedurally or randomly generated, but I am pretty sure that there are elements of the game that end up like playing out differently each and every time you start a game. Like it, it always ends up playing out in different fashions, which is why I'm so interested to check it out. I think they're like different like towns and cities we can like go and try to like conquer in the name of our tribe and all this type of stuff. So this is gonna be incredibly cool and something that I am so hyped for. And here we are starting out our adventure. So as we do check this out, I'd love to hear from y'all in that comment section down below. And of course, by hitting that like button, if this is a game that you guys do enjoy, what you guys think of this game. And if you guys do want to see more of it in the form of a series, because it looks so incredibly cool that I can't wait to hop in and some actual gameplay and hopefully like experience that coolness and hopefully if you guys are down for it we continue checking it out as well but recently rescued warriors told me that person which is responsible for all that massacre which led to the almost complete disappearance of our people on this land the Zemniak people who stays in one of the camps nearby i need to find him and make him pay for all the pain and suffering which he caused to us this land will be mine and well we're gonna do everything in our power to try and do that here we have what appears to be our village. Hello, villagers of the Potato Tribe. How are you doing today? Hello, Zemiak number one. Here we have, uh, ooh, a horse that we could go ahead and mount as well. But for now, we do have a little bit of a basic goal, which is to craft a wooden bow and wooden arrows, as y'all can see in the upper left-hand corner. Ooh, the game even decided to be a little bit nice and uh, toss some basic controls our way. So we move the usual way. We could roll with space. We can sprint with uh, left shift. C to change our stance from standing to crouching, holding X to sneak and Q switches cameras. And sneaking is going to be a very big part of this game, in case you guys are are not aware because it's going to be kind of like our ultimate weapon is our ability to kind of know the land and uh, capitalize on it and try to like lay ambushes and hopefully just try to use our sneaky deekiness on those who we are going to be trying to attack now if i'm not mistaken okay that i thought maybe i could bring up the map by clicking m no here is the map that we're talking about and here you guys can see i don't know what this mouse button is doing i'm scared i'm scared what's going on this on my mouse. Oh, I think this is a little tutorial here. So camps control takes a very important role in your resistance. Please watch the video tutorial carefully. Oh, dear God. Okay. So what I'm getting from this so far is that each camp actually has supplies within them. And we can actually expand our reach, continue like having more camps in multiple different areas over here throughout. Each camp can, of course, be like upgraded. We can send warriors from camps to different areas, to, like reroute them. Like this is so freaking cool. Kind of like getting to like micromanage our tribes as we go about and try to, well, 
do something about all this land in first person not to mention of course having all this inventory and that type of jazz we can even add a stock order uh when warriors are doing your orders you'll be able to quickly find them on the map by pressing the quick access icon on the left dude can we like run across our warriors just doing their business <laughs> oh that's actually really freaking cool but all right i reckon we got a pretty decent understanding so here we have the jemiak tribe and currently we have one camp of kanila probably butchered the bejesus out of that but within this camp we have uh, uh three out of ten potential warriors to make can actually micromanage these warriors be like hey do this thing hey do that thing and currently we do not have anything but we ought to be able to send the warriors to do some gatherings so I'm not 100% sure what we need the most out of, but I imagine some food. Okay, we actually need bows for these guys, so never mind. We gotta get a bow for them, so probably... Let's try and figure out what we need to craft a bow and get a little bit of crafting done first and foremost before we get too nutty with it. Hold E to access skills. Some can be used with G, some by holding G, while others are passive and want you to be selected. Well, okay, if we hold E, let's see what we got at our disposal here. Uh, lure the enemy. It made a coyote sound to attract the enemy. Smoke special herbs to increase the flow of time. Oh, what in tarnation? Do we enter the matrix? And we can throw stones. So if I click this, does that become like my active ability? We can hold G and... Oh, look at that! I can throw a stone! What's up, my guy? Oh, I'm so sorry! I hope that stone didn't do too much damage. So we got some pretty cool skills at our disposal as well, but let's get to the bottom of crafting this stuff up. So I think if we head over here, we do have this crafting menu. The wooden bow is a big thing that we do need to craft. So we will make one of these. Then we need more wood and more flax in order to craft even more after this. We'll also make sure to get some wooden arrows done, which is going to require wood. So if we need anything, objectives, well, you can track only one objective. There may be many to switch currently tracked objectives. Enter the menu, open the objectives tab and choose an objective so do we have like a current quest because if not what type of quest we got baby convince a bedwood oh, dude we can convince other tribes to join us oh my god i'm kind of low-key falling in love with this game dude with oh, ho, ho, ho. finding the root of all evil that sounds complicated i'm gonna go and just try to convince someone to be like hey can we be friends where are these people oh my god how far away are they what? There's my tribe, Jabus. That's a little ways away. We might need to hop on the horsey and start uh, making our way over there. So I suppose that's the current quest that we got. Uh, let's try and make sure that our boys over here. Let's try and make sure that our tribe over here is being productive in the meantime. So do y'all know how to gather wood? Is this uh, within your qualifications? Can I trust in y'all to get some wood? Uh, come on, I'm trying to. I'm, oh my god, you stupid drop down. My, da, 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 da. Oh my god, dude, I literally... What? Mm. There you go. I'm using the scroll wheel. God dang, I can't! I can't get to the wood! Oh my god! Ah! Oh, I'm literally raging trying to mm, get to the wood. Oh my god. Woo! We got the wood! They zero out of one warriors have the weapons. I don't care. I'm gonna send them out anyway. Get some dang woods, you dinguses. You other two, uh, do something. And here we have... Oh... The resistance progression shows how many lands you've regained. Having a camp in a region allows you to see what's going on there and claim land if no enemies are left in it. Interesting. So I imagine we're doing a resistance against the people trying to settle these lands, and they are doing that right over there. So weapon controls, we got we can do one, two, three to switch between our bow, and currently we do just have the bow. Nothing special at all, but we do have the capabilities of getting like a pistol and potentially a rifle as well. Uh, I can rest, but now is not the time for rest. Now is the time 4,000 meters away. All right, horsey. Do you have a monocle on? Bro, this horse has a monocle. This horse is a majestic boyo. Excuse me, horse. You got, you, got, you got to turn around. Please do not climb up the teepee. All right. Comrades. Oh, hello. Use tab to access the inventory. I've been doing that all along, bro. I, I don't think you caught on. Ooh, really quickly. I am curious. Can I harvest this if it's just like chilling here? Uh, no, I think the tribe might be working on harvesting that stuff. Did you poop? Is that a poop? No, it's just the horse icon. Okay. But dude, this is like, oh, this is going to be really freaking cool. And especially once we can tr kind of try and harvest some resources and potentially get some more things going than, uh, well, just our bow and a couple of things like that. I imagine we'll be a little bit more versatile because like if you guys follow me, I'll just make sure there's no like bears nearby. I press Q to change the side of the camera so we can actually change from 
Uh, ain't nothing changing. Maybe I can't change it on the horse. But okay, back to this crafting here. Uh, there's like better bows and stuff we could craft, better arrows. We have different, uh, if you guys follow me up here, there are different traps and baits that we could do. And, oh, that's actually really cool. We can, oh, what in Tarnation? They've expanded their borders. Bro, oh my guacamole. Okay, yeah. Uh, we got no time to mess around. We got to convince this Bedwood leader to join our fight. And I imagine, too, the more we play this, you know, will this be the greatest run in the history of uh, this land is my land? Save. Please note that you can save the game on certain points. Okay, thank you for letting me know. Will this be the greatest run in the history of stuff? Ooh, we have a new warrior joining our tribe. But will this be the greatest run in this land is my land? Probably not. It, 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 it will not. But it's a learning experience. We will get better. And I imagine we will continue learning all these little nifty trip trips. No. Tri tips and tricks. I kept trying to combine those two words. We're entering Fort Tutfield. Should I be scared of the Tutfield? Because that isn't a very scary name. But again, I'm not sure what I'm getting ourselves into. We have yet to have a battle or anything. But for now, we ride to try and convince this leader man over here to join the fight. And hopefully, I don't know if this is going to create an alliance or what exactly this is going to do. If maybe like he'll just kind of start attacking the enemy like alongside us. Ow, tree. Ow! Oh my god, my horse just took some fall damage. Was not expecting that. I'm not sure when my guy's gonna get hungry or anything either. Hopefully not too late, but you know what? Why don't we take this opportunity? Uh, okay, so there we have like all the forts and stuff too. So like we can try to take these down and we'll probably try and take down some of the outposts of some of these kind of like more low key areas. Let's definitely watch out for like that. I hear, oh, oh no, boars, run, run, horsey, run. I'm not trying to fight some boars right now. I'm just trying to chill, 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 chill. I did not think you guys were gonna attack. I thought I heard like, I thought I heard like horses approaching. I'm like, oh no, I'm about to get into a tussle. Now nah, we good, we good, we good, we good, we good, we good, baby. What it do, baby? Okay, now that we've gotten away for a second, let's take this opportunity. Like I was saying, what I'm trying to do here is actually go back. Uh, we're at three out of ten warriors. Let's. I think they're still chasing me, dude. Oh my god, this thing's on a mission, isn't it? I hear the footsteps. Oh my god, they're not gonna give up easily. Yeah, okay, we gotta get a little bit more separation then. <laughs> Maybe once we read the- bleh, Ow! Dude, I'm gonna kill my freaking horse. This is not good. If I get stranded out here with, oh, 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 with no horse, we are not in good shape. Let me just say, this is no Skyrim horse. This horsey is definitely- out, oh, dear God. Dude, oh my God. Look at Andel. It's sending a patrol. It's expanding its borders. Borders? I can't English today. I'm sorry. Oh my God! They're up to 10.4% of the map! Am I like not expanding fast? I like, hello, map. Do you want to move, broski? Hell, I, the map does. There we go. Now the map moves. Um, dude, at this point, like, I don't know. Do y'all want to? Let's settle. Let's set up a new camp somewhere. Um, let, let's 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 go. Let's go that way. Yeah, let's let's settle up there. I'll I'll send two warriors over that way. They need zero out of twenty wood to set up a new camp and some rope. Never mind. Hopefully they'll get some wood back at camp. Cause currently, uh, I don't see Jack Diddley squat in terms of that. Uh, like wh where's the oh what do we have there three wood in the camp menu dude oh my god <laughs> this thing is freaking out whenever i go over it so this game is definitely in alpha it's a little bit uh rough around the edges at places but still the premise of everything is like incredibly cool like um totes my goats down for it all right let's just go let's just try to get as much wood as we can like low key yeah that's what we'll do hopefully our camp doesn't get taken over you know we uh, rough around the edges to say the least but like i'm saying our expertise will continue to grow, and if there are derps along the way, may they be hilarious and extremely awful, because that's the most memorable, you know? Like, if you make a small mistake, it's like, oh yeah, I won't do that again, and then you do it again like five minutes later. At least I usually do. But if it's like a big mistake where it's like, oh no, people are not going to be happy about this, it kind of sticks in your brain. So, you know, if I totally embarrass myself in front of however many of y'all watch this, I think we got a pretty good recipe for horses! Uh, what was I saying? A uh, pretty good recipe for me trying to remember the lessons that I'm learning over here. Ooh, what is this? Oh, I think this is a camp. Yo, Loki, why don't we try and, uh, is this a friendly camp? Oh, definitely not the comrade. You know, for the sake of it, why don't we try and, uh, hopefully those wolves don't attack us. Why don't we try and show off, uh, what a little bit of this gameplay might be like? Because at the end of the day, what we need to be is sneaky 
and Deaky. Can I save the game here by chance? I, this, they, they just gave me a little tool tip. I hit escape at the worst time. I have no clue what the game just tried telling me. Probably don't be stupid. Unfortunately for you, game. Oh, that's some advice that I don't listen to. But check it out. Here's where the sneaky deakiness comes into play. And these AI are pretty advanced as well. The enemies? Someone's talking about something. I don't know. They're scared of wolves, apparently. What we want to try and do is get the jump on these guys. So if we can be like nice and sneaky deaky. What's that? Are those wolves? Is my horse getting killed up there? Don't tell me my horse is getting killed right now. Horsey! I hear something. Dude, I don't know what's going on. Horsey, you good up there, bro? Dude. What is actually happening? Increasing a power failed? There's some sort of a shootout going on. Oh, detection. Well, I don't know if they're trying to fight me or if they're just going to go swarm this wolf. Enemies need some time to find out your presence. Amount of time. Okay, yada, yada, yada. Thank you very much. They, they're they not going after me, right? I'm just going to, don't mind me, just chilling in the toilet. Chilling in the toilet. Chilling in the toilet. Chilling in the toilet. Oh, okay, horse is still good. You know what? I think this toilet strategy... Oh my god, might be the go-to move. What is going on? Dude, there's some sort of a shootout. Can I, like, bop this guy from behind? Boop! I totally whiffed that. Boop! Oh, he survived that? No, 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 no. Okay, there we go. He's dead. Ain't no one seen a thing. He's super alive. What? This guy is eating arrows like no one's business. Oh. Hold up. How do I melee? You know, I'm not 100% sure I have a melee weapon, so I'm about to run towards this guy like a chicken with its head cut off and hope for the best. Sound like a plan? Sound like a plan. I was not expecting this to be how things unfolded, so without further ado, what you shooting at, my guy? <gasps> Yo! Yeah! Oh, no. Okay, hold on. Uh, uh, the oh! Oh! Goodbye, yo, kneecaps! Oh, I stunned you. Why did I kill you? I had mercy. You can intimidate stunned enemies. Bro, I'm not in a position to be intimidating people. Oh, okay, hell. Well, something happened over there. What's up, my guy? What's up, my guy? Yeet. Oh, no. I got him with the left mouse button. Attack! Attack! Oh, shake him! Shake that man! Come on! I want to come out on top, baby! Oh, how much more health does this Jingus have? Okay, there we go. Now I can grab him. Oh, let's go, let's go. Kill him! Oh, he's like, don't kill me. As I literally kill him. Okay, dude, this camp's going pretty well. All things considered. That guy is coming back to uh, some bad news. All oh, your friends are dead. Push him to the edge. There's something that little Uzi said one time. Oh, he has another friend. All right, I deal with you first, comrade. Hello. Boop. Let's just shake you a little bit there, can I? I just gotta, oh, he's reloading. Oh, my man. Not a good, ow. Oh, time to be reloading. Uh, I may not be going about this the best way, but I have a knife and I plan on using it. There we go. Uh, death to you. And I think there's one last guy. I don't know where. He went. My friend. Hello. Oh, okay. I see, I see the detection. I see the detection. Oh, I literally have like five health. I don't know if that red bar at the bottom is my health. <laughs> it's not looking very high. Oh! Okay, so the game continues. Even when I'm paused. Bad news bears for me. Oh, they have reinforcements. This isn't fair. Okay, guys, I have an idea. I'm going to throw a rock that way. I think my strategy worked. Oh no, the hill is too steep. Ah, horsey! Oh no, this ain't the way I went to my horsey. Horsey, we gotta go. I think they're on to us. They're most definitely on to us. Oh my god. Eh, eh, eh. <laughs> These bullets are grazing by my face. Okay, so at least we're learning how to approach certain scenarios. Uh, we also are totally out of bows. I should probably like go and harvest a tree or something. But for now, I go back to my horsey, and I go back to trying to convince this guy to be my friend, the leader guy. Okay? Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Do we even have that quest anymore? Dude, it's gone. 
That quest ain't there. Uh, objectives? Find the root of all evil. What? I can't convince him? Oh man. Well, uh, I guess we can go back to camp. Uh, <laughs> that's unfortunate. So yeah, I guess we took too long getting to the guy that was like over a mile away. And the game's like, sorry, too late. He has a new deal. Deal or no deal? <laughs> no deal, baby. Uh, we got a little bit of hickory there. And we can go about the harvesting part now of our little survival adventure. At the very least. What do we have here? Some different uh, item controls. Oh, nice, 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 nice. So hopefully one of these things is like heals me. Because I need some heals. So if I press four or if I hold four, there we go. Seven stamina. And that will literally kill me. Noted. Do not eat red mushroom. This is not Minecraft. I can't make stew out of this. Damn. A little bit of buck brush that way. Uh, the big thing that I'm looking for is can I like get some wood? Is this Minecraft? Can I please punch three? I cannot punch three. I am now sad. So it appears that the main thing we're able to pick up, at least from what I'm seeing is... Okay, we got some flax there. I'm pretty sure, at least from my experience with other survival games, we might be able to weave flax into rope, which seemed like a pretty essential item. Uh, so the question becomes, how do we get wood? Can we only get that if we, like, craft the proper tool for it? Or do we need to, like, send people to do it? Speaking of which, how's my tribe doing? Y'all, uh, get some of that... Some of that, some of that good, good. Yeah, yeah, oh, we're up to six wood. Oh, sorry about the burp there. Not too shabby. Uh, what else y'all up to? Hold up, let me click on you over there. Oh, okay, we gotta go to the invent. Crap, no. Hello? How do I go to the tribe screen? There we go, just took a second. Okay, so we're at two out of ten warriors. Yeah, we are going to send more of y'all. Never mind, we're gonna send one of y'all to do some gathering. Um, is there flax there is okay uh why don't we go and have you try to collect a little bit of stone that might be helpful i imagine maybe we could use that to craft like a uh, axe or something like i'm not exactly seeing an axe at the moment i think there are even more recipes in addition to this that we could find uh there's all sorts of like potions and stuff we could craft uh, and poisons and uh okay so there's there's once we get enough flax yeah we can craft rope that's that's what i thought so we definitely want to be picking that up when we get the opportunity. Um, yeah, I just wasn't expecting to get halfway to uh, my destination and have Siri be like, Psych! Your destination doesn't exist. Please make a U-turn. No, like, this, this is genuinely very bad news, Bears. Um, so there's an outpost that if we light it up and uh, we'll be able to fast travel to it. So honestly, when in Rome, why don't we try and make our way over to that outpost at least? Maybe we could do a little bit of a, uh, make kind of some productivity out of what's gone on here. I also don't know how concerned I should be with the fact that, as you can see, they have a lot of land. Um, I don't know if I'm doing, like, okay, if I'm doing pretty bad, all things considered. So maybe there's some sort of a, this land of mine, or this land is my land, uh, pro in that comment section, in which case, yo... I'd appreciate if there's anything extremely dumb that I'm doing. Please feel free to point it out. Make me look like a fool. That's always my goal. But no, like actually, even if it does make me look like a fool, I, I really don't care. I am trying to learn the game and do the best stuff that we can and uh, have a dang fun time with it. Cause like, even though I'm derping about a little bit, I'm too, this is like just so freaking cool being able to like manage our tribe and hopefully get into some huge battles with them. Okay, so we got an outpost. You can initiate fast travel from the nearest outpost with a lit campfire to any outpost or friendly camp within your regions. So I don't know if this is within my region, really. But... YOLO. So is this a little outpost? Yes, sir. Where hi de Leo there, neighbor. Let me get this bad boy lit. Oh, I thought that was like a giant balloon for a second. I'm like, they have balloons? There we go. We got the campfire there. What is this? Oh, it's just my marker. That would make sense. Oh, and there we have... Ooh. That is a pretty fortified-looking fort. A little bit spooked by that. Okay, if I rest here, can I, like, get my health back? Oh, resting and saving... Hey, it saves the game! Let's freaking go! This will hopefully prevent the eventual stupidity that will probably happen. Okay, I'm back. The game isn't moving. But uh, it does say end. Okay, there we go. 
It says Andel is expanding its borders. Again, they're up to 11.4%. I'm sitting here at a nice old 0.7%. Don't mind me. <laughs> uh, yo, tribe, how y'all doing? Okay, we got a nice little wood supply, nice little stone supply. Uh, so you can take items from the inventory of any camp while close enough to any friendly camp or lit outpost. Oh! And warriors of this camp will use and take items from inventory at will. So that's actually pretty cool. Uh, we can set up a patrol between camps. Okay. That's actually a lot of really cool things going on. Uh, is anyone currently gathering? Like, what's gone on? I don't think anyone's currently on gather duty. So, okay, in that case, I'm going to send one of y'all. Let's try to get a little bit of flax added. Yeah, let's send that out. Um, another person. Let's have you go out. I don't know if sinew is going to be important, but just kidding. We still need those bows, so never mind. Uh, in that case, I think maybe I'll send another one out to get some flax. And we got to send one more. Ah, uh, ah, uh, we got stone, we got wood. Eh, let's get a little bit more stone. Just try to diversify what we are rocking over here and then hopefully get some good stuff crafted up. The main thing I want to do is get some of these guys bows. So wood and flax is definitely going to be the biggest things. And some arrows also for myself so I can start shooting at people. Uh, also, a way to heal. So maybe I'll try and have them like gather certain potions too. Uh, we can actually... Oh, if we get some more buck brush, we can make buck brush tea. Uh, 60 health over one second. That's not too bad, because we're currently at six. <laughs> Dang, we got 373 skill points? That's not a lot. Never mind. It seemed like a lot. I got my hopes up. Don't know why I got my hopes up. We've been playing for like half an hour so far. <laughs> so unfortunately, resting did not help us in the whole dying department. So we might just need to go scavenging about, try to find a little bit more buck brush because we have kind of deciphered buck brush to be uh, some sort of, uh, to have healing properties, I should say. Uh, that is probably the big thing that we are looking for right now. And then hopefully we can figure out how to make like a stone ax or something and start harvesting stuff for ourselves because like, I don't know, I got my fists out. They're not really doing anything though. Am I, is my screen getting more red? I'm suspicious. Are we dying? Oh, what's that noise? Oh, I'm scared. Mom, come hold me. Mom, where are you? I don't know what that noise was. Is that a moose? Was that the chupacabra? Bro, come on. It's my first night. Don't do this to me. Don't play games with me. I'm just trying to find some buck brush. What actually was that? Hello? Someone? Dude, like, I don't see anything. Like, was that the nearby camp? Maybe? Just kind of doing their thing? It sounded like a medieval air horn. It was like... Is there like a cave? Like, <laughs> it's a hard being a native American. <laughs> I'm scared. I was not cut out for this life. Oh, I get jumped by a bear right now, bro. We're going full revenant up in here. I a lot of mushrooms though. If I could find a bowl, dude, hundred percent. We'll get some mushroom stew cooking. I'm definitely a little bit on the edge of my seat, though, because I... Dude, I don't know what made that noise. And I am ridiculously on edge for a jump scare right now. And I have, like, six health to my name, dude. I'm not fighting anything off. <laughs> I'm a trip on a pebble and I'm dead. Like, not... Like, I'm not saying, like, I'm gonna trip and whatever's chasing me is gonna catch up to me. I just, like, literally mean I will be running away. I will trip on a pebble, and the fall damage from that pebble will kill me. Like, that's the type of situation we in, baby. So this is what flax looks like. It does have those kind of, like, little white tips out the top. So that's a good little thing to know for show for show. Now that we kind of do are kind of getting a hang for, like, okay, this item looks like that. That item looks like this, yada, yada, yada. So, ooh, there's the buck brush. Let's go. That'll give us some health. I'm really not trying to get into a tussle. Until, uh, well, I have more than definitely six health. If I'm going into a tussle with six health, bro, I belong in the salty spittoon. That's hardcore. So, okay, uh, we're going to take this opportunity. 
And let's try and do some of our initial crafting over here. We do have the power of not mixed potions. A black kosher that gives us something with stamina. As the buck brush tea. Minus 30 max stamina for 30 seconds, but 60 health. I will definitely take that swap. I need some of that buck brush tea. And what was that noise? Was that me drinking? Am I about to get mugged? Horse, he'll protect me, right? Horse? I'll take that as a silent yes. So, okay, they're expanding their borders again. They're also sending patrols to protect nearby settlements. Love the way that everything's shaping up. Long story short, uh, they're doing a lot of stuff, and I'm not. Feels bad, bro. Do we have any other objectives? No, not really. I wonder maybe if we go back to our base camp then, because, like, I'm trying to... Uh, I'm scared. Uh, so, oh, can I travel? Yeah, 15-hour travel. YOLO, man. Maybe we'll show up and they'll have, like, uh, more resources? Like, if it takes 15 hours for us to travel over there? YOLO. But now that we have arrived, I wonder if we might be able to, like, get some quests or something from here? Or, like, if, like, some of the people within our tribe can, like, give us a quest? Because that would low-key be kind of nifty. They're sending people to, like, gather gold and stuff. Yo, which way is my dang camp? I am a dingus. Opposite way. A dead away! Oh, dude, look at all this buck brush and flash. Flat, not flash. This ain't a superhero. Look at all this buck brush and flex. Right around the edges of camp. This is actually glorious and a prime opportunity for us to do a little bit of gathering of both. Hopefully, we might be able to go out an adventure with uh, something resembling kind of full-ish health and a whole ton of flax. Maybe craft some bows. Hey! Oh, I think I figured it out. So if we do want to collect wood, at least from what I'm seeing so far, it looks like we need to find a hickory, which is kind of these like little small branches over there that will give us wood. Okay, okay. So we're kind of starting to decipher things. Uh, haven't found any stones on the ground yet, but hickory is a way of getting wood, so that is good. I imagine there has to has to be some way to craft like I don't know like known only unknown uh, never mind there has to be some way to create some kind of a hatchet dude like there's no way that there isn't I'm not seeing it in the crafting recipes so I'm extremely sketched out maybe there somehow isn't but regardless uh, that would definitely be useful maybe it's a skill over here uh, the hunter does this have something no, this just gives us like different uh, different perks and stuff. We're continuing to get skill points just from like existing and whatnot. So I'm gonna continue my existence and hope to continue getting some good stuff. But yo, talk about flax. There's some productivity right here. Oh, that's not flax, dude. That looks. There you go. I knew that was flax. Thinking you could fool me. But things are looking pretty productive between what our warriors are harvesting and what I'm gonna be coming home with all of this stuff. I reckon our initial tribe should be able to start uh, putting some stuff together. And maybe we'll even have our first expansion go on since, uh, I mean, I think, what was it, like, we need 20 wood and 10 of something else, and, oh, sorry about the burp there. We could go and, like, create another tribe, so we might start trying to do that because, like, that's the main thing we got to focus on. It's fighting the resistance, so we just got to recruit warriors and expand. That's kind of, like, the main things we got going on, so let's see if maybe someone has a quest for us, anything like that, or maybe... Another thing that there might be as well is if we look at our map, god dang, I keep clicking M for map. Uh, there might be like different types. We, we came across when we were adventuring. Maybe if we venture over this way, we can find different types of like areas that we can interact with. Not necessarily our own bases or enemy bases, but I do think that there is the opportunity for us to like come across potential things we can interact with, like, you know, other tribes and maybe we can actually talk with them and that type of stuff. So, ooh, a little bit of wood. Hello, Ikari. How you doing? So, oh, what's up, bro? Good talk, bro. Uh, we got loot. Ooh. Loot, you say? So, I'll just take all that. I don't know whose loot that is, but thank you. Is that just, like, in addition to the stuff our camp has? Because I'm pretty sure our camp, like, yeah, our camp still has, like, wood and stone. Okay, but it has less than before. So, I think we took part of our camp's supplies. So I think we can kind of dip and dabble into some of our camp supplies. Not necessarily all of them, but some of them, yes. 
fascinating. Oh, no, nah, there's the rest. Okay, so it's kind of spread out through a couple of different areas. And speaking of our camp, uh, what type of upgrades do we have? We need boar tusks, stag pelts, and buffalo pelts. We are not upgrading anytime super soon. Just putting that out. So here's the cool thing as well. We can actually add in stock orders where there are certain requirements. Where, for example, we can ensure that there is always X amount of a certain item within. So, for example, I want to have four wooden bows crafted. I will put in an order for four wooden bows and then the camp kind of has this noted. And they can only do this with stuff we have crafted before, like only... What? I brought my fiddle. Wanna listen? What are you guys talking about? Why are you guys back already? Shouldn't you guys have been gathering stuff? Eh? Yeah. Where's the gathering? But if we do know a crafting recipe, like for example the wooden bow, we do not know this one as you guys can see it requires 1850 skill points for us to learn. But if there's a recipe that we know, we can actually order our camp to craft a certain amount of that thing and then they should be able to work on it whenever they can put two and two together i know that's a big ask but they should be able to do it uh we can't send any warriors out at the moment so yeah i don't know what these guys are doing back here i thought they should have been like gathering this dude's meditating and pouring himself a drink i am bamboozle big bamboozle but i do think they're gonna venture out and try to have that order fulfilled and we're going to contemplate life and try to figure out what in tarnation are our next steps from here i'm thinking maybe try to explore some of these northwestern passages and i feel like the big thing we got to do because like we finding the root of all evil kill the camp recovery location unknown leader uh they don't even know where he is so that's very helpful. But I do think our best bet is going to be to explore kind of like these northwestern portions. See if we can't find points that we can interact with. Maybe like trading outposts. Because it did seem like there are some cool icons we can do stuff with. And I'm trying to go away from the red. And also prepare for the inevitable clash by hopefully arming our friends and whatnot with uh, some bows and stuff. And speaking of arming ourselves, let's get some of these bad boys crafted up. So, whoop. We actually have a little bit of self-defense at our disposal as well. But with that said, with that done, I think that's a good point for us to go ahead and end off this episode of This Land Is My Land. Our very first dibble and dabble into all the glory that this game does have to offer. It seriously seems super in-depth and like something that I could definitely see myself spending way too much time getting super in-depth with. Because it's got some dang cool stuff going on. I think that that goes without saying. And hold on. Can I get my tea? That's my bucket brush tea. Dude, I love that. There's like a little quick inventory. If you hold four, like the number four, this pops up. You can just like click on all the stuff. So I should have just got a good chunk out the back, which is bueno. Well, like I was saying, I do think it's a good point for us to mark off and end off this initial episode of this land is my land. I cannot wait to dive back into this. Continue expanding our tribe, trying to make it the greatest tribe out there. And, uh, well... From there, just kind of seeing where the tide takes us and hopefully fighting off this oncoming force of enemies that are, well, enemies. Self-explanatory. There's a lot of southern lands for us to explore, too. Holy guacamole. If anything, like, there are some northwest lands. We might want to kind of start going more this way. I don't know. We got a couple of different ways we could explore and stuff to figure out. But that's all some stuff that we'll be doing in part two of This Land is My Land. Because with that said, with that done, that's going to start wrapping it up for me for now. Thank you guys a whole time for watching. Have yourselves an awesome one. And I'll talk to you next one. See ya.